what's up guys uh, probably you if you're very curious you're wondering why we haven't relate pressure volume pressure temperature and volume temperature volume pressure and temperature volume and temperature pressure because probably you know ideal gases and all that you know there's a relation a relationship between them and yes it's true actually we call this the surface volume diagram and I don't like this diagram that much let me go to a real one uh, if you were and I'll, let's give a look we have the axis of pressure you have the axis of volume and the axis of temperature if you were to see it from here you will see let's say take a photograph from here you will see this bell shape the one we were talking about liquid and vapor but if you were here you will only see a line you will not see that bell shape line yeah here is better you have still the bell shape if you watch from pressure to volume you have the bell shape or uh, bell like shape and you have this temperature versus pressure you will not see that you will see only a line that's what I'm talking about yeah, if, we, if you see it from this perspective you will see pressure yes we see pressure here volume yes we see pressure here we will see the bell shape we will see this is liquid this is the critical point this is the liquid vapor mixture and this is the gas of vapor but if you were to see this here you will be only able and you know it we saw this diagram before you will only see this line which is the vapor solid equilibrium this is solid this is the vapor solid vapor you will see the point at which they get together which is the triple point here which if you see it from this perspective it will be a, a line but if you see it from this perspective it will be a point then you have this solid liquid line solid liquid line and the liquid solid line which does not appear here but should be something around here okay guys and essentially that's what I wanted to show you right now that you can relate pressure volume and temperature if you wanted to show volume and temperature well you will need to see it from the top or even from the bottom you will see volume temperature and the thing here is that you can play because since it's a cube you can see it from here from here from the top from here from here and from the bottom What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.